Hit it, Logan. It's X After Hours Podcast with Mariah and Ty. Your weekly download of X92.9's X Afternoon's extracurricular activities. Enjoy. This week on X After Hours. Sam, you're a young fucking fella. A couple weeks ago, someone thought he was a rabbit, and now he's actually here. Secretly, guys, I actually had a, a private agenda here for the pod today. Wow, that's crazy. All right, thank you to Mr. Bunce for bringing us the beers today. We got 88 Wave Pool Tropical IPA. Mr. Bunce making the hard launch on the pod in person. A couple weeks ago, someone thought he was a rabbit. And now he's shit. actually here. Oh, these are here. actually pretty good. These are pretty good. Tropical IPA. That is good. Ah. It's not like a piney IPA. Like, it's got a little bit of a punch to it. Um, and also, just off the hop, the pita Mr. Bunce is eating, and we ate earlier, is extreme pita, which was delicious. Yeah, they brought us extreme pita today. So thank you, extreme pita. That was very good. Uh, they don't sponsor the podcast. They just brought us some pitas because yeah. we mentioned them on air. Yeah. Um, earlier, I wanted to mention that we had my dog Tango in the chair earlier. He's here today. Special guest. So if you see him, I mean, this is him. Come here, buddy. If Come you're here. watching the video on YouTube Come or Spotify. Here. There he is. This is my big fella. He's huge. Hey, buddy. You sit down? There. Give him a treat. That he's a hot boy. wider than, like, the table in between. He's massive. Yeah, he's there a big go, boy. There you go, buddy. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, can you lay down now? Thank you. Okay, come on. Okay. The 88 Brewing, though, Tropical Wave or Tropical IPA, Aloha Sunset is the official name. Aloha Sunset. I'm this digging this one. This is pretty good. For, it is pretty good, IPAs. hey? Uh, Mariah was away for a couple days last week, and uh, we made yep. reference to that, uh, where Justin Crouch tried to say that you didn't exist. It was pretty funny. You can play that here. X Afternoons with Mariah and Ty. Mariah's... Ty, no, Ty, you got, you got to stop, man. You got to stop with this. Stop what? Do you, okay, you're going on about this Mariah person, but Mariah's never been here. None of us have met Mariah. We don't know who you're talking about with this Mariah person. Um, well, she's sick today, Justin, but no, I was no, just going to... No, 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 Ty, I'm telling you, there has never been a Mariah. It has only ever been you. Man, it's just you here. You're messing with me. No. That's not true. Dude, Ty, listen to the audio from yesterday's show, okay? Just just listen okay. to it. Okay. Uh... X Afternoons with Mariah and Ty. Now, Mariah, you were just saying that your dog ate an entire block of cheese. Oh, that's crazy, Mariah. Good thing you know Facebook Marketplace so well. You can get a fresh block. Yeah, well, Mr. Bunce isn't going to be happy you're spending that money, Mariah. X Afternoons with Ty and Ty. On Calgary's Alternative. X92. Ty. You're f with me. But uh, Matt was supposed to be Justin Crouch in that role. Oh, really? Yeah, Justin had to step in because Matt had COVID. That's right. You were gone. Yep. I was the loudest person in, a, in the office for a change. <laughs> I was like the third string quarterback coming on, finally getting a chance to play. Like, it was nuts. Sam, oh, you could tell. Geez. I was like, whoa, this is my moment this week. Let's go. I had a sparkle in my eye. Because you're, a... you're always fighting for your yeah. time. That's right. <laughs> it, was a, it was a weird time around the office. There'd be times where it was just me and Ty. Just, was, just by ourselves. Was, like, just sitting here. I no. will say, though, that the video that we just watched, um, my dad laughed his ass off uh happy belated 60th birthday to wayne he literally came up to me at this party that i threw for him mm -hmm. he made Mr. everyone Bunsen. gather around and watch it yeah and my brothers no <laughs> he literally was like that video ty he's funny and i was like dad don't even say it you told him he looked like chris evans yeah, once he'll man. never wayne, forget that hang out like wayne let's go grab some beers i, I should have been at his party i feel bad now pumping pumping your tires um, so Jeez. secretly, guys, I actually had a, a private agenda here for the pod today. There's some tea I want to spill with the crew. Is everybody ready for this? Yeah, tea? sure. Um, so we went up to Edmonton for my dad's 60th birthday party. But there's also a reason why I brought Mr. Bunce on the pod today. Um, we actually got engaged last week. As what? Well. What? Yeah. <laughs> Did you have that ring on all day? I hid it in my bag. You know. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Thank you. Look at that. 
not. This is genuine. I'm just wow. finding out now. I know. And I I was trying to think of ways to tell you that we're going to be funny. Look at that rock. I yeah. Whoa. And so it's actually it's actually fucking hilarious because I feel like you almost need to tell a story. You can almost tell it off mic. But um, Justin Crouch knew before all of you guys did. Oh, does Matt know you want to go yet? make a cameo to where Sam is? Come on over. Okay. Does, does Matt know no, yet? No, Matt doesn't know yet because oh I my God. to tell him. We should just play this clip I, for Matt and I get know. his reaction. I know because I was like, I need to tell you guys first on the pod. Oh, my God. Mr. Bunce making the official. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so you have to grab the mic and, and hold it oh, wow. to your face. Just talk into it. Put it if it face. helps, do you have your drink? Bring him his drink, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Maybe him, he needs a little a big, liquid courage. He's let making him have a his, big drink of that, and then he can he's tell us. He's making his broadcasting yeah. debut. One one week ago, people thought he was a rabbit. Now he's hearing in the I should have worn like a rabbit onesie. Yeah, okay, hold it like as close to your face. Yeah, you almost got to kiss it. You, almost, you, know? you know when you're playing Call of Duty and mm -hmm. you have the mic really close to your face? and it's There you go. There we go. That's exactly Wow. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, so we were thinking of this, like, clever way to tell you because I was like, oh, my God, we're going to start having to refer to myself as Mrs. Bunce now. Wow. And I thought we were going to do that on air today, and I was like, no, I have to wait till the pod for a visual. You got me good. I think I might have noticed the ring. I Did don't you know if really? I would have. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I didn't see it on you today, but if you would have worn it because you said you put it in your bag. That's what I mean. I knew you would have noticed. I might have noticed it. Okay, so Mr. Bunce, go ahead and tell the ring pop story oh, because boy. I think it's okay. Well, basically, um, I had this ring pop in this box, and I had the actual ring, obviously, in another box. So I had it in my back right pocket, and then I had the little ring pop box in my front left. And we just, long story short, we brought her into the backyard, and I had hung like string lights through the backyard. And uh, I hid her two best friends in the furnace room in our house, which I feel kind of bad because it was like super loud in there, but whatever. Then uh, my sister was there and she had a camera, so she got to do that whole thing and take photos. But Mariah didn't know that all these people were there, obviously. Huh. And she came in the backyard and I was like, look at the lights, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And as I was pulling the ring pop box out, she was already looking like at my hand and noticed it. And I just sat there and kind of froze, and I was like, shit. Well, I was going to fuck with you, but uh, yeah, will, like, you, will he, you marry me? Yeah. What do you <laughs> so you had, like, a ring pop ready to go, like, the candy. Yeah. Literally. And, and then you were like, she saw it, and you're like, she shit. She saw it right away, and she just, like, her face was like, Bleh. No, I, it was, <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a good impression. Thanks a lot. <laughs> they melted, I was like, ah. No, I was just like, you know when you like say people are like, oh, I blacked out like at a major life event. I never understood. I was like, how the fuck could you black out? In that moment, I was like, I don't even know what was said. My face instant melt. It's like somebody poured acid on me and the tears, <laughs> tears were just, just gone. fucking going. Yeah, yeah. And then I saw this ring pop and I was like, you fuck. If you're fucking with me, I'm going to kill you. And, and then was. all of a sudden, the real but. ring came out. I had a backup, obviously, at that thing. So. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah, so yeah. was this before or after Skrillex? Like, did you guys so this is, celebrate? No, this? It was this not is before. At Skrillex. This is before Yeah, Skrillex. yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like, had you already gone to Skrillex? Or were you like, no. we're going to Skrillex and we're celebrating hard? That's like, what happened. That's why I'm so uh, hungover. So does Kim know? No. Yes, Kim Her, knows. Does she, Kim know? Yeah, she found out. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. She hit that for me at wrestling the whole time then. Because I told her. I was like, don't fucking tell anybody at work. Don't tell Ty. That's yeah, crazy. But the first person to know was literally Justin because yeah. uh, Wednesday afternoon, I planned to go golfing with him. I was like, hey, do you want to just go golfing? Because I was like, golfing relaxes me. This will be perfect. I'll just go <laughs> golf before I propose. This is mint. And then we're sitting there golfing, and uh, – <laughs> we're kind of stuck behind a slow group and I looked at him like hey man I'm not gonna lie I might have to leave at the, on the 18th hole just cause I got this big thing planned he's like oh yeah no big deal and I kind of looked at him like alright I'm just gonna tell you and I showed him he's like no way yeah was he like what? whoa he's that like, is oh, yeah. awesome man <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's That's like, so there's the story. That's it for me. Yeah. Wow. So did you did you ask did you have to ask Wayne for permission? Oh yeah. Was it intense? 
No. Okay. We no, he cried. We had, he had, cried. A, we had a rum, and then he cried for five minutes. I'm like, get it together, man. Like, <laughs> Jesus. Because we hid it from my mom. And then this okay. weekend, we were like, oh, I guess we'll, like, tell our family. And then the whole – I was actually, like, more ne- nervous to tell you guys because I was like, I got to do something fucking cool. I got to do something, like, that's going to fucking surprise Ty because you always surprise me. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that. So yeah. That's great. You did. I Wow. Really? All the Surprise? things I, I'm like, what do we even talk about after this? Like, pff, nothing. Oh. I had, like, I'm turning 30, and it's like, pff, that sucks. <laughs> I like, got you, man. From good news to oh, shit. Oh, shut up. <laughs> that's great. Oh. Yeah. You guys, like, uh, that's just so exciting. I don't even know what comes next. Like, what do you guys do next then? Like, now do you have we've... to plan the wedding? I We've yeah. been going hard on that shit, and now I was like, more importantly, this happened, and I was like, the content for the show. Wow. <laughs> You started doing content. Wedding talk. Yeah, you're going to have to give your visa card a nice manicure. I'm give stressed. Give it a relaxing weekend. I'm stressed, but I was like, oh, God, sorry. Tang's demolishing shit. Sorry. Um, I just thought that I was like, I need to propose to you to be my official work hub now. Oh, now God. Now that it's real. Wow. And well. we actually had a second <laughs> ring pop at home, and I was like, fuck, do I bring this ring pop? <laughs> did you forget but it? But then I was like, ah, I did don't you, know. Did you forget what? it? What? Did you forget it? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Bunce brought us beers, part. so I accept. It's yeah, fine. I okay, know. fair enough. We can take a, you can get a picture <laughs> of the ring pop for the video aspect of the podcast. Just send it to Sam. Okay, maybe right. we could do Done. that. We'll uh, have a ceremony for it. But anyways, guys, that secret is killing me all fucking day. And I, I can't was believe like, it. That must have killed you all weekend. Like, how many of your friends have you told yet? Uh, Well, actually, just like Sarah and Shay, because they were there and Shayna, but you, I kept it to the inner fucking circle. I kept it tight. I was yeah. like, got to wait until I tell my... My fam. This is going to be great for to see where you guys go for the wedding. You know, is it Edmonton? Is it Calgary? Is it Mexico? Fuck. Who fucking knows? You're going to one-up Matt Barry? Fuck New York. We're going to Greece? Like, yeah, what is right. it? right. <laughs> no. It'll be like, you thought you guys were getting drunk at Matt's wedding? Guess what? It's going to be drunk at our wedding. Open bar. It's going to be oh, messy. Wow. You were so drunk at my brother's <laughs> wedding. So it's I like... was very drunk at your brother's <laughs> wedding. <laughs> All right. That's my time. Cut me. <laughs> He's, out. He's out. He ended out. the segment. Oh what a mic God. drop to come on wow. and do that. Wow. Yay. That's so fucking awesome. Thanks, guys. It's X After Hours with Mariah and Ty. It's like X Afternoons, but in podcast form. And we're back. And it's our birthdays this weekend well mine and then yours the next day yeah i feel like um what's weird is not a lot of people know that we like have this like we share birthdays we grew up together yeah um but your birthday is a big fucking milestone this year i'm the 23rd you're the 24th of july that's correct um and actually my mom's the 25th which is really weird we gotta get her in on that party Leah. you know what i mean her yeah. 60th, the three of us, we'll throw a big party. Please, if you say my mom's turning 60 this year, what, she'll that's kill like, you. What is that, like 10 years from now? <laughs> there, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, I, I <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no, I uh, I think that 30 is massive. Um, I yeah, think but you're I doing don't, pretty good for 30. I don't think guys do a big thing on their 30th. Did any of your friends, Mr. Bunce, do anything big on their 30th? No, nope, they went to bed at 9 o'clock. Yeah, my friend Nick, he uh, went to bed at like 8. He was working out at, at camp. And then, uh, oh, Nick, like our mutual friend, yeah, Nick? Oh. He, he was working out at camp. And then someone else told me, like, for their 30th, they just went out for dinner with their parents. And I was like, Yeah, guys do it different. But my brother, he threw a big party, I remember, because I was living in Winnipeg. And he's like, I want you to fly out for my 30th birthday. And you, I was did like, Did you go? I couldn't do it. I it was in ratings. And so I wasn't allowed to go. Ah. Uh, well, I think I could have, but like the flights were crazy expensive, and I was I'm like, "Fuck that! I'm not going on a Friday, coming back Sunday for like 400 bucks." My brother Caleb, he did a karaoke. He he's been doing that for a few years, like just as a shit karaoke bar, and people yeah. get smashed. It's a pretty good time. Well, when you were gone, I was like doing uh, a couple bits on it on air, and I would read. It was like things because Mr. Bunce is he's turning 30. 30. Yeah, yeah, you guys are the same age. Yeah, 93. Uh, I was reading about it, and, like, it's nothing good. It's just, like, here's how to prepare. It was, like, get a mortgage, exercise daily, quit your bad habits. And I was, like, I've spent my life doing those bad habits. You're, like, I felt like my life developing. You're, like, like, I just perfected my threshold for smoking and drinking. Yeah, like, what the hell is this? So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like, a stressful birthday. Um, I think that it doesn't have to be stressful. I think you should... Celebrate yourself because you've never been arrested. That's good. Knock on wood. 
Yeah, so far. Jeez. Um, you know what I mean? You uh, have a good job. You have a nice girlfriend. I mean, you know what I'm doing for my thirtieth birthday? I'm helping her move. Isn't that awesome? There's nothing wrong with that. I think that what you're doing is good. That Look at sick? that. Hey, you know what? Isn't for your 30th great? birthday, this is the first relationship <laughs> that you have lived with a woman. Well, I had one for three months. So far, we haven't surpassed that yet. So let's knock on wood for that one. No, no, too. no. But I'm saying, like, for real. This is... Oh, there we oh. go. Tango Bar agrees. Dog. Grabbed up. Tango agrees. Hi, Tango. Oh. Hi, Tango. Sit. <laughs> sit. Okay. No, hang cool. Yeah, so I'm helping her move out of her place, and then I'm going <laughs> to reach out to a couple of people. Tango's looking around. Tango, not through crazy. the camera, Don't knock the cameras Tang. over, Tango. Okay. Light fixture almost down. Holy shit. He's our new guard dog here. Yeah. Um, no, I think, I think you're at a good point. Like I said, a lot of people hit like a midlife crisis. Or no, is that an early life crisis at the age of 30? Uh, I don't know anymore. Maybe. I think most people, when they turn 25 or 26, I think you said it was 27. Mm -hmm. For you, you start to feel old. And mm -hmm. what are you, aren't you 27 now? Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Mariah, think about this. We were working together and I was 27. Do you remember that? We were working well, together and you were 25. 25? You were 24. I? No, no, no. I was in Winnipeg at 24. You just moved there because I remember I started working at that station. We first worked out together and I was 20. One, I had my 22nd birthday. Wow, so that's crazy. And then I remember just being 27, and you start to realize you're about to be 30, and it sucks. No, it's don't. Not, it's not cool. Don't they say your 30s? Your 30s are the best. Like, Sam, you're a young fucking fella. How old are you? 24? 25. I'm only two years You have two 25? years on him. He's not that Sorry. Much I feel like in, you're just, you're just. Youthful. It's because I act like a child, Mariah. No. Come on. <laughs> come on. I bought this brand new computer I built, and then I bought a PlayStation 5, and I sold it to Logan because I don't use it. <laughs> You guys are like work. That's painful. No, but it's you guys true. are smart because you actually have like savings, both of you. I never had a savings at 25. There's no I chance. I still don't have a savings. That's what I mean. I'm like, you guys are doing something right, but no chance. What I'm thinking though is is Ty. I think you know you're getting adventurous with your hair right before 30. This is great. That's also because I thought I was losing it at one point. I was like, holy so shit. So he's like, I'm let's lose my hair. Bleach the shit out of I it. I dye more. my hair a couple times while I have it. I have a. I think you did it for the Barbie movie. I've been doing this before the Barbie movie was announced, but I am. I do look pretty like fucking Barbie ready. I better go see the movie. He's this got weekend. his Kennergy ready to go. You do yeah. look Kennergy ready. He's got yeah. the khakis and the. Which is good, I guess. Like it's fine. I'm sure I'm not gonna be the only one who's looking like it. So. No, it's a good look. It's a good look. It works for you. What do you want to do now? No, that's what they. That's what I was getting at. Thirty, they say, is the best because you have money. You are. I don't have money. Well, but I'm saying you're not. Like <laughs> what the fuck girl. is that? Okay, but think about yourself. We make the now. same money. Wait till you start we, planning your wedding. You're like, you we, don't have money. You're right. I literally don't have money now. But I'm saying <laughs> we have more money than we did when we were 20. That's true. Well, when I was 23, I was living at home and I had like 20 grand. Okay, think about then the I had first to buy a car. the first job you had that you worked and you lived on your own. You probably had fucking nothing. I know. Oh, I yeah, had nothing. I rented a room in a trailer in Brooks. <laughs> Thrilling town. That's yeah, 500 bucks for a room in a trailer. People yeah. are like, I want to work in radio. It's, yeah, it's fun. I, I, just, it. I just think this is a good time for you. I think you shouldn't shit I on 30. I will say, I think I'm having an easier time turning 30 because we work here. We're not where we once worked, and we won't badmouth or anything, but like, it just feels like a fun place to be. That's what I mean. Like, if I'm turning 30, at least I'm turning 30 here. We just did the stampede. It's fun. Who knows what fall will bring? Halloween's great. I I'm think, in good spirits. Yeah, like I think if you you're need depressed to... in your life and you're turning 30, that probably sucks. But now I'm just thinking it just sucks to turn 30 to be old. Oh, you're saying like, oh, yeah. okay. I like I, I, my, I, I enjoy waking up and going to work and everything. I'm not like, oh, I'm stressed out. But if you were turning 30 and that was the case, I'd probably suck. But now I just think I'm like, oh my god, I think you're very positive. 20s are gone. No, but 20s I mean, like, are gone. I can't be a fool. Welcome the next fucking chapter. Literally, just welcome the next chapter. Also, People used to call me the kid in radio. <laughs> yeah. My old I, boss used to call me that once. I actually had a bit of like a set, like a realization because I was like, oh, okay, we're actually not. Like, we were on the younger half. You used to say kids all the time when we'd be wasting. You'd take like a picture yeah, the at your kids. brother's wedding. We're not the kids anymore. Why not? Oh. We're not because. Oh, hello, Tango. <laughs> 
that's going under the table. He's just happy. Um, yeah, we are We're not old. the kids. We're doing segments about Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're talking about midlife crises, dyeing our hair at 30. Like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, he's having some snacks on oh, sorry, there. Tan- yeah, Tango is... <laughs> Finding all the leftover treats. Remember when Dwight just sat on your lap and then my yeah. dog is literally a bull in a china shop right now. I got to get Mr. Bunce to meet Dwight because uh, he'll be blown away. It's like nine pounds. It's like if he takes a dump, it's like a glossette. <laughs> like it's fine. You don't even this sweat it. Is, this I is told the two-pack like, O'Henry bar over like, here. <laughs> in my girlfriend's old home and in her apartment, like for sure, they would have just like a pee pad out in the winter because sometimes it would get so cold. He wouldn't go outside. And uh, he would just pee or take a dump on a pad. And That's it would so be fine because it's so small. You just pick it up, throw it out. That would be like a fucking lake in our house. I know, but like, yeah, it would like, smell. If Tango took a piss in your house, it would be like a it lake. What's happened? And then if he shit in your house, it would be like, did a human come in here and take a shit and no, then leave? No, it would be like a drunk person came and just like, <laughs> like one shit. time, actually, this was our, f- this happened when we were at the Stampede and we, we were very responsible dog owners. We did a lot with our dogs that day and we were gone for probably five hours at night. Which is fine, but he was fucking mad. We left him. He was smart. And he purposely shit upstairs on our hardwood. And we got home and we were like, holy fuck. Somebody. A log here. Something shit. I don't know if it was a person. I don't know if it was the dogs. But it was pungent. And it was like a drunk person just pissed all over our house. It was unbelievable. But he's. he's, he's oh, better. he pissed as he well. He pissed and shit. Always. Yep. Wow. Mm hmm. That's great, especially with the house. Do you probably get to like look for it? Like, yeah. You get to play hunt now. Oh well, yeah, hundred percent. In an apartment, you're like, I can track that down pretty quick. I can track that down. But in a house, it's like, where is it? Dwight's Who knows? like one spray of Windex. This is like yeah. if you <laughs> yeah, dumped a much. fucking mop bucket on the floor, like literally. Oh, uh, so yeah, turning thirty is gonna be great. And uh, <laughs> next time we do a podcast, I'll be thirty years old. Oh my God, stop! Should we do one of those things for you where it's like not a birthday, it's like a death day? No, sorry, not more. Don't make it sound like I'm gonna You're die. You're not dying. Jesus. You're not dying. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But I meant like I'm like death to your twenties. That's what it is. Death to your twenties. I guess I don't really want to do much at all. Not really. Maybe we'll play. Get a hot shower. I don't really going. want to do anything. I'm gonna go meet up with some friends who are like way older than me. So you don't feel so bad about that? <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. And they're gonna be like. F you, man. I, I knew you when you were 19, and now you're 30. This sucks. And I'm like, there you go. They're well, like, I'm 45. Yeah, you should that, see my life. <laughs> that is what it's going to be like, you know? You so. don't know any 45-year-olds, do you? Oh, hello, sir. Yeah, I do. Oh, do you? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I think he's been trying to see the dog the whole time. Oh, oh our grommet statue. <gasps> hello. And now it's time for Mariah and Ty's <laughs> review of the week. It's time for Mariah and Ty's Review of the Week. <laughs> oh, sorry, All right, Mariah, guys. what are you reviewing this we week? We the most distracting pod. Um, I'm going to review a few things. I'm going to review my lovely fella, Mr. Tango. For those of you who aren't watching, you should watch just to see how large this creature is. Did You, you guys all were surprised when he came and how big he is, right? He's fucking huge. Yeah. He's a he's, wolf. He's like another person. Oh, my um, God. We love Tango, even though he eats a lot of our food off the counter, and sometimes he poos in the house. He's a pretty good boy. He ate a whole thing of chicken thighs once. That's he, my favorite story. Exactly. Yeah, he's a really good boy, and we're happy he could come on the podcast today. And uh, my, I'm going to give him a 12 Tangos out of 12. And then my other review is uh, my new rock on my finger my new Ooh. official mans i'm gonna get sappy um no i uh, i'm actually just i'm i just was really surprised that this happened to me and i was really happy to tell you guys i'm happy i surprised you so 10 you out of 10 good. yeah you got me good uh well you know it's just as intense as mariah's engagement <laughs> coca-cola with coffee let me tell you <laughs> it's damn good <laughs> I brought everyone a Coca-Cola with coffee at the start of the day today because I love these, and producer Logan can agree. They're probably – it, it doesn't make sense how delicious it is. The vanilla one you brought me today was really fucking good. I actually liked it better. I like the dark blend. I'm a 10 out of 10 Coca-Cola with coffee. Yeah, uh, yeah it's huge news as well. Sam, what do you got? <laughs> uh, I forgot to bring a review this week, so I'm also going to review the Coca-Cola coffee. <laughs> you – 
I, we do it once a week. I, I know. And you can't remember <laughs> to bring something to review. I forgot it on the counter. He's like, okay? I didn't go to a movie this week, guys. I'm fucked. Like, I couldn't remember. Literally. literally. <laughs> You're looking at that vacation next week, like literally ready to go. You're like down the barrel. You're like vacation next week. Stan- oh. Dude, stampede photos ended, and I can just see Friday. It's like light coming from heaven. Hey, it's you wonderful. should congratulate yourself on all the stampede photos you Thank took. You. I'll review those. They were a 12 out of 10, Thank Sam. You. you killed it. I never found the neon dog at stampede, but Coca-Cola coffee, pretty good. The one thing that I would say that I would want a little bit more of is like a, coffee. a smoother taste. It's very smooth. It's no, very like, smooth. Have, you, have you tried it's Pepsi not. Nitro? Oh, like a little bit man. flatter. A little bit flatter. That's all I want out of it. But otherwise, I, I'd give it a solid eight and a half out of ten. All right, and Sam, you're supposed to keep us on track. We forgot the Hall of Fame. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, we just rolled right into the new reviews. We're doing Hall of Fame, everybody. <laughs> Do you know what one? I know what one. I, I did the math on why? it. Why? Why? Cowboy Boots won by 10%. Me? Whoa. 10%. Cowboy Boots get into the Hall of Fame. That's right. Welcome to heaven. Did or I show that I was wearing is. the plastic bags in them? Or no, I, I didn't. You did not. Out. I said pull the bag out. And you were no, like, no way. It was too embarrassing. Wow. Wow. Well, Mariah got engaged. I had a Coca-Cola with coffee, and I'm turning 30. Things are looking up for both of us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sam forgot his review of the week. I'm going to go turn 30 and uh, help my girlfriend move. And uh, Big moves. She's off next week. Sam's off next week. The podcast will happen, but it's going to be weird. Something different's going to happen. Really? Enjoy your different podcast, everybody. You're going to like it. Thanks for coming and yeah. listening. Thanks to Mr. Bunce for the drinks. Yeah. Bye. Bye. And the ring. <laughs> You've been listening to X After Hours Podcast with Mariah and Ty. You want more? Then tune into X Afternoons with these two live on Calgary's Alternative X929, Monday through Friday, 2 to 7 p.m. Mountain Time at x929.ca. And don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and have the new episode of X After Hours downloaded weekly to whatever device you use. You should just tell Matt, like, hey, we want to come, when the podcast comes up, we'll be like, what do you think of this video edit? And just hit play on it, and we'll, we'll film him watching it. That would be funny, and then we could get, like, a nice...